In this video, we're going to talk about the discriminant of a quadratic equation. Now, given a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the discriminant is defined to be the number b squared minus 4ac. Now, the significance of the discriminant has to do with this next theorem here. So this says this, if the discriminant is positive, then this equation will have two solutions, two real solutions. If the discriminant is equal to zero, the equation will have one real solution. And if the discriminant is negative, it won't have any real solutions, but it will have two imaginary solutions. Or it's probably more correct to say it'll have two complex solutions that, that aren't real. Okay, so let's look at an example. Okay, why is this uh, theorem true? Well, let's, let's look at an example. So uh, Let's solve x squared minus 7x plus 8 equals zero. And then we'll think about how this is related to the function f of x equals x squared minus 7x plus 8. Okay, so notice we have x squared minus 7x plus 8 in both places here. Over here on the left, we have a quadratic equation. This is a quadratic function over here. Okay, so how do we solve this quadratic equation? Well, I don't think we can factor it. I think the only way to do this is the quadratic formula. So let's use it here. We have negative b, so that's going to be end up being positive 7, right? negative negative 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And notice, by the way, that b squared minus 4ac, that's the discriminant. So we have negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 8. Okay, a was 1 and, and c was 8, all over 2a, and again, a is 1. So what we get is uh, 7 plus or minus the square root of, well, this is going to be 49 minus 32. Okay, all over 2. So that's 7 plus or minus the square root of 17 over 2. By the way, notice that the discriminant is 17. Right? The discriminant here is 17. Okay, and notice that 17 is a positive number. And notice how many solutions do we have? We have two solutions. We have 7 plus the square root of 17 over 2 and 7 minus the square root of 17 over 2. If you were to write those as decimals, by the way, one of them ends up being about 5.562. That's 7 plus the square root of 17 over 2. If you did 7 minus the square root of 17 over 2, you get 1.438. But notice our discriminant, the b squared minus 4ac, was 17. It was a positive number. It gave us two solutions. Now, notice the graph of this function, x squared minus 7x plus 8. What does that look like? Well, I've drawn the graph here in Desmos here. Uh, y equals x squared minus 7x plus 8. Notice that the uh, zeros of that equation, x squared minus 7x plus 8 equals 0, those give us the, the zeros of this function, right? They're the x-intercepts of this function. And then it happens at about 1.438 and again at about uh, 5.562. Okay, so it's where you cross the x-axis. So notice the parabola cross the x-axis at two places. Now it's possible, though, that you could get parabolas that don't cross the graph at all. So notice I've drawn a, a parabola here where it doesn't have any x-intercepts at all. Okay, this one in purple. And there's also it's also possible to have a parabola that just uh, touches the x-axis at one point. Basically, the vertex is on the x-axis. So, so this uh, parabola uh, has only one zero. Okay, so you could have a parabola that has two zeros or one zero or no zeros at all. And the key thing is the discriminant of the quadratic equation. So the discriminant of our original one that we drew was 17. It turns out that the discriminant of this one, x squared minus 7x or x squared minus 10x plus 25 equals zero, the discriminant there is zero. Okay, uh, because if you did, it, it would be uh, b squared minus 4ac, you'd end up with 100 minus 100, it's 0. And notice, if the discriminant is 0, you get one solution. Okay, I'll show you why when we look at the quadratic formula. Uh, and then this one, the uh, discriminant ends up being negative, and notice we don't get any uh, solution. Okay, so this time let's look at um, let's consider x squared plus 10x or x squared plus 25 equals 10x. Now, if we subtract 10x from both sides, we get x squared minus 10x plus 25. And actually, we looked at the function f of x. Now we're using y there, but f of x or y equals x squared minus 10x plus 25. And remember, that was the one that just touched the x-axis. We only had one solution, so uh, this equals zero. So if we were trying to solve this, it turns out that if we use the quadratic formula, we would get 10 
right, negative negative 10, plus or minus the square root of, it would be 100, because b squared would be 100, minus 4 times a times c, but the, the a is 1 and the c is 25. Okay, all over 2a, but a is 1. So we get 10 plus or minus the square root of 100 minus 100, that's 0, all over 2. So notice how many solutions do we have here? Well, you might think there's 2 because we have 10 plus the square root of 0 over 2 and 10 minus the square root of 0 over 2. But the square root of 0 is just 0, so 10 plus 0 and 10 minus 0 are the same thing. Okay, in fact, in both cases, you just get 5. So notice x equals 5 is the only 0 of this function. Okay, it's x equals 5. In fact, you could actually factor this. This would factor to be x minus 5 times x minus 5 equals 0. The only solution is x equals 5. And here, the discriminant, right, the discriminant in this case ends up being 0. Okay, that b squared minus 4ac, the 100 minus, or it's negative 10 squared, so 100 minus 4 times 1 times 25, the 100 minus 100 was 0. Okay, and, and, and finally, consider x squared plus 6x uh, equals negative 14. If we add 14 to both sides, we get x squared plus 6x plus 14 equals 0. This time, if we do the, the b squared minus 4ac, well, let's just plug it right into the quadratic formula. The b squared minus 4ac, we're going to get negative 6 plus or minus the square root of, it'll be 36, right, b squared, minus 4 times 1 times 14, all over 2a. So we get negative 6 plus or minus the square root of, well, it's 36 minus 56, right, 4 times 14, all over 2. And notice that's negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 20 over 2. So how many solutions do we have? Well, notice the discriminant was negative 20 here. So it's negative. So, so we have only imaginary solutions, right? There are no real solutions. So actually the graph of this function, f of x equals x squared plus 6x plus 14, doesn't cross the x-axis at all. There's no x-intercepts. And we saw the graph. In fact, let's take a look at it again x squared plus 6x plus 14 doesn't cross the x-axis at all, right? It's up here. Okay, and the graph of x squared minus 10x plus 25, remember the only solution was 5. The only place it touches the x-axis at 5. Uh, that was the case when the discriminant was 0. This was the case when the discriminant was negative. And the top case here, the first one we did, was when the discriminant was positive. And notice we have two x-intercepts. Okay, we had two solutions of that original equation.